How's it going, everybody? You know, in the aftermath of the blowout win over Purdue... LSU are starting to leak a few players, as we've expected, as we thought would happen, just because this this is what happens in modern college football, you're going to lose players to the portal. That's just going to happen. Maybe the identities of the players are a little uh, surprising, though. Um, First off, Anthony Bradford, not too surprising in a way because he had that awesome season over 800 snaps he was able to put it all together the talent everyone knew he had the presence everyone knew he had you know the athleticism everyone knew he had it was on show he put up some really good film for the pro scouts and obviously they're telling him go to the draft and so we'll we'll see what happens for Anthony Bradford although I will say my opinion. I believe he should have come back for one more go-round. That's just my opinion. I just feel like maybe he should have even put up some more tape. And But, you know, he's a veteran of that 2019 team. He's already got a national championship on his ring. 22 snaps in that in that 2019 season, so didn't play really much of a, of a role on that team. But still, um, veteran of that team. He's He's been there. He's done that at LSU. He's been there for 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. It's, it's more understandable that he's leaving after the injury woes he's had. You know, he's healthy. It's, it's go time, you know, in a way. And so we wish him well. Uh, and then linebacker Demario Tolan. True freshman linebacker Demario Tolan from Florida, Orlando area says he is going into the into the transfer portal, shocking uh, a lot of people. His teammates, the coaching staff, he shocked just about everybody with this decision because um, <clears throat> this is a young man who had a lot of. A lot of grass in front of him when you're talking about a future at LSU as well at linebacker. You know, we're, we're thin at that position. Whenever he played, he looked good. But that's the thing. Maybe the playing time, the lack of reps, only 74 defensive snaps. He was a special teams um, automatic out there. So he played special teams mostly, you know, that this freshman year. And that sucks and everything, but I, I'm, I'm shocked that he couldn't keep it in perspective and, and, you know, hey, the lack of reps, there's guys like Micah Baskerville that are still here, you know, <clears throat> and at the same time, he had more reps than guys like Jared Small. So, so you know, <clears throat> it's just very, it's, it's just a shame that he left probably going to be for one of these uh, Florida schools. But, um, yeah, a a big shame that we we see DeMario Tolan leave because uh, such a a capable athletic ability, nice stopping power, just a really good all-around linebacker and has the speed as well to play the, the position in the modern game. So, we see some of these guys leaving out the door, and there's going to be a few more. And um, it's just what happens in college football. We're going to have more posted on LSUodyssey.com about these transfers and what's around the bend. Check it out, everybody.